everybody, welcome back. Spelunky 2, baby. This is a non-Golden Goblet episode. This is just normal Spelunky 2. We will prioritize, above all else, our own survival. I've still... Like, the narrative is starting to shift on my Spelunky 2 play, in my opinion, at least. Still, like, definitely... Lots of room to go. Lots of room to improve. But simultaneously, like... Got him. Um, got got by him. Simultaneously, getting a lot better. You know, a lot more consistent. Throwing uh, completely a lot, a lot less often. Although, let's not talk about some of the last uh, Golden Goblet episodes. That's one of those where you're like, okay, I got hit, but what do you want me to do? <laughs> All right, you know, it's it's a game of incremental improvement. What's step one? Can I? I can still make it up there. Got him. Thank God. Honestly, step one is like get through this first floor with the things you want. What do we want on the first floor? How many times do I gotta say it? Four to five HP. I was I always say five, but it's like not necessarily realistic. Um, Ten grand, which is gonna happen, and then a throwable, which is in this case preferably a torch. So we're feeling good about it so far. Just don't take any damage from these freaking uh, moles here. Let him go. Grab this son of a gun. Get the heck out of town. Now, don't die on this platforming section. We'll consider this a very successful first floor. <laughs> Took a little damage right off the jump. That's about it. That's the, that's the major problem. Do it. Is it a great floor? You got, okay, here's what you do. You gotta, you gotta knock that down. The fact that it killed the snake is just gravy. We do not care for the ghost pot in this situation. We should be fine. Ah, uh, it's tough. It's tough. Um, we should be fine up here. Lucky us. Okay. Now we got a turkey. Uber Eats. We didn't take damage. The turkey took the damage. We have a bomb box for sale. High value. But obviously, what did I do? Oh, my torch is still up there. Uh, you, okay, well, you know. It's science. I'm sorry, turkey. We got a lot of stuff to carry here. We've only got, you know, a certain amount of hands. So the next step will be your demise. Unless there's something over here that warrants your existence. And I promise you, there is not. But just to get one HP from something like this is, uh, in my world, that's a big get. So we're going to drop Monty off. We're going to carry the torch with us because the torch represents even more HP. Not infinite HP. Let's not go crazy. So there is a power pack. Oh my god. There's a lot of stuff in there for sale. Also a couple things that will definitely explode if you play your cards wrong. So we got to think. I really do like a power pack, but the bomb box is kind of like, that's your classic... I think we need the bomb box. Save the shopkeeper. I mean, if we're just trying to live, yeah. We'll take the bomb box and then the compass. The compass shows us where we gotta go. Not that relevant now, but, but very, very relevant in the future. Wanna make sure... I was just gonna say, we wanna make sure that arrow trap's pogged up. I know what you're thinking, why not keep the turkey around? Everything that takes up mental bandwidth in this game scares the crap out of me. <laughs> I need 100% focus to accomplish anything. So, anything that, that spoils my focus, like the weird Bane blacksmith from Dark Souls, we, we, we sleep. Don't even need to hit that guy. I don't know why you would hit that guy. You don't need to hit that guy. Okay, we got a key. And you know what? It's a pretty good location to place a bomb. 
You know, I, I respect it. Let's get weird. I don't mind this. It helps you get a little bit more comfortable on the bone spikes. And that is not a euphemism. Catch it and praise Baldi. This is the only two things you gotta do is catch it and praise Baldi. Next step. Honestly, the next step is very simple. I think anytime you have a torch, you make sure you get it lit. I do hear Monty. Again, I want to stress, even if there's no turkeys, a lit torch does do extra damage. So just having that extra damage is worth a lot. We don't, we don't really worry about that. I don't, I don't want to get caught out by those lizards. Land in a, in a whole heap of trouble. Monty is very gettable. We don't sweat it. We don't sweat it. You drop them off. You go when you got the chance. And look at that. One of these. There you go. Didn't have to, but I'm glad we did. Forget those gold bars, baby. We're good. We got torches. We're taking our time. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Where are we going? We do have the Ujad eye. Honestly, I think we should go to the jungle. I've been going to the... It is lit. Um, we can wait on it, though. Um... We've been going to the furnace a lot lately, which I, I hear uh, charlatans are trying to rename the volcano. I'm here to tell you that is not a volcano. That is the Demon's Forge. Wouldn't expect you to understand. So we do want to go this way. I'm trying, like, I'm thinking about killing this guy, but every time I try to get a little bit above my station like that, it tends to lead to problems. Oh, that scared the crap. You, did you see me jump in my seat? I got real scared there. That was that was very scary for me. Great work. Great work. We're going to have 8 HP. Not today, spider. We're going to have 8 HP. A torch. Many, many bombs. Derek. Very simple, you got a man-eater stuck in there. If he's stuck in there, there's nowhere for him to go. Very difficult, though, to watch out for bear traps. Ooh, a Kali altar. Now we're talking. Definitely has you considering uh, freeing this guy from his own prison. I cry out to Derek seeking only his decision. People stand and deliver, I created my own prison. You know that one? Well, we lost hired help. Oh, he's okay. I'm gonna let him go to town down there. The existence of spike traps. Scaring the crap out of me, dude. I'm gonna be honest. I, I do want to sack you, but I'm like, man, maybe... A rope for our first sack is not that good value. See, see if we can get like a Monty down here instead. You know, I'm not willing to do that. I'm not willing to do that on the spikes here. I was very scared. I'm glad we did what we did. I didn't encounter any blinking, but you never know. I, I feel like I didn't encounter any blinking. Very scared of the idea of, of hired help taking that shield. <laughs> Hello, child of the forest. Thanks for the torch. Thanks for the light. We should start saying that. Hey, you got a light? <laughs> it's blinking. No, that's the spider. No, it's blinking. It's both. All right. Um, I don't want you to have that anymore. Trying to, we got plenty of time. 
Find out where it's blinking less, find out where it's blinking more. Bro. I hate to do it, buddy. Had to be done. Okay, the blinking. The blinking. Perhaps lower? Perhaps here? Right there. Okay. Okay. We got 27 grand. I think anytime you go to the black market, you pretty much gotta commit to murdering all the shopkeepers. Like, we're not gonna go to the black market to purchase one thing. <laughs> if we're going, it's because we got bigger ambitions. Technically, I suppose we could... It's 40 grand to buy the Hedget. That I don't even know what you do with. I think the Hedget allows you to get Excalibur. <laughs> uh, you know what? I will be honest with you. If we can get to 40 Gs, I might just purchase the Hedget and roll this Boomerang. Because I think that Coward Strats are kind of like the way forward for me. Um, for the time being. If we don't, though, I mean, we gotta leave this floor with the hedget. Or, like, you know, on. You either leave, like, uh, with your shield or on it, you know what I mean? We're at 37. Doesn't look like it's getting too much better. There is probably, like, the opportunity to gamble up here. I never know what's going on in here. Nothing. That's just a weird little service tunnel. Okay. Um, so there's... Am I, am I insane? There's no shotguns for sale? So here's how I think we do this. Baseball glove. Bomb box. Paste. Why spend the money? This is what we need in order to survive. Um, and then... The real fun begins. <laughs> you know what? Just to save us a minute here, I'm gonna dump there. That could have hurt Yang. That might have caused us some some issue. We have an obligation to do this. I honestly feel like we have kind of an obligation to kill Yang. What? Oh lord. We got a little time. Throw bombs. Don't just do nothing. There you go! That's what you do. Calm. Calm blue oceans. You wait it out. The ghost is coming pretty soon. He might be gone. Just grab it. We have earned ourselves the head. Oh no! Yang. Yang, really? I I re I really did badly once we got to the black market there. However, I'm still happy with how we did on the way down to the black market. <laughs> Though we are perhaps moving the goalposts. Beautiful. Beautiful. It is what it is. Anytime we don't just immediately throw our runs away, I'm pretty pleased. And honestly, we've been doing a pretty darn decent job so far. Go! Oh, did you see the reaction speed? No, Monty! Not on my watch. 
uh, on my watch. He's down. All right, that's that's how you navigate a difficult situation. <laughs> you know, is definitely. I dispute that. Is definitely worth getting. Oh, but there's no torch in here, is there? Because there's a there's a pusher trap instead. Well, it was definitely not worth it. It was like super not worth it. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Turkeys on this floor. Clowns to the left of me, turkeys to the right. Like, the density of enemies is just, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot of enemies. Thank you, Turkey, you're gonna be a huge asset for us here. Uh, Cause we can do that. And then, I do have a hover pack. Do you have paste? This one to me looks looks fun. Really? So what do we do? Um, we bring all of the turkeys to Yang. Why? Because we can. He's gonna give us some treasure. Then we are going to kill the shopkeeper, murder Yang, and kill all the turkeys with our many bombs. And get enough HP to rule the world. That's that's the whole game plan here. So, I don't mind buying the bomb box, just to make sure it, it don't blow up. I don't know where you put the hover pack. We'll say right there, and then the spectacles. He is dead, which certainly, I would insinuate, makes me a genius. I would very much like to pick up the shotgun, because this is our next step. Oh no. He's got him. He's not dead. He's dead. So our next step is just just all around being like not a good guy, but doing this. Giving ourselves a little extra HP. You got to admit, you didn't expect this to be the way that it worked out. Bet you probably thought it was going to go wrong, and uh, honestly, you wouldn't you wouldn't have necessarily Is that a skeleton key? You wouldn't necessarily have been a fool to think so. But here we are. Still doing our darndest to just get some level of success here. Forget the ghost pot. The ghost pot, that's yesterday's leftovers. Which honestly is is still very good. You know what's weird? Like so the other, it was probably like, I don't know, almost a week ago now. I was at the grocery store and I said, you know what? I should get some of those samosas I like. So I got the samosas, then I'm willing to admit, don't act like it never happens to you. I forgot that they existed. Go in the fridge, sorry, this is just a spicy situation. Go into the fridge. Samosas go bad September 19th. Today is September 21st. On September 19th, forgot to eat them. September 20th, I said to myself, and don't lie to me, I know you've done this exact same thing. September 20th, I saw them and said, I'm not going to eat those, they're old. But I'm not going to throw them out, because what if I feel differently tomorrow? It's like I left it in the fridge thinking that maybe, just maybe, I'm not desperate today, but tomorrow, the samosas are probably going to be fine. Now, to be honest, I don't think there's anything wrong with the one day past best before samosas, necessarily. Honestly, I'm sorry, Monty. We're going to be leaving you to your fate. I 
I know that the best before date is just a suggestion. However, I also know enough to not risk it, I guess. I don't know. I don't have a good... I don't have a leg to stand on in this discussion. It's just the wrong thing to do when I made a mistake, okay? It's just weird human logic, though. Mm, this is too old for me to eat today, but tomorrow, who knows? I mean, that's a different man. <laughs> All right. So my thinking is let's let's try to go to Vlad's uh, depot. Let's try to go to Vlad's depot. This is a lot of money in here. Oops. <laughs> so what is Vlad's depot? It is the Red Castle. I've never been to it. I've been to it in Spelunky 1, I guess, but never been to it in Spelunky 2. I just want to get to the end without aggroing you. Like, that's that's kind of where I'm at here. He's He's been freed from his shotgun. He died. He got crushed. <laughs> but it wasn't me! You never know what's coming down the pipe there. You gotta be a little careful. That should be a shop, I think, down there then. Seems like a pet store, maybe? It is a pet store. Don't glunk me, please. He's mad. And I understand why. Well. Another one bites the dust on this one. <laughs> I was gonna say, he does have a key. If we can't get rid of the aggro, I mean, it is what it is. Hello, hired help. Hello. Too many keys here. That doesn't impress me. Hello. What do you think about this? Hired help. Go get him. Go get him. He jumped on him. He jumped on him, you genius. And dude, this is... Okay, here we go. This... Should always look below. This video is now a success. Oh no. As long as we can get to Vladimir's castle. What do you, what do you think about this whole lava situation down here? That certainly did not seem to make it better. I think we can thread the needle, dude. I think if we play our cards right, we can thread the needle here. <laughs> it almost worked. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll be back with some more Spelunky 2. I'm doing my best. I'll see you next time. See ya.